First, load in an image or video strip. For this, I'm using my quick tip image. Next, deselect everything and Shift A to add in a color strip. Place the color strip before the image and put some space between it. Select the color first, then Shift select the image. The order of the selection is important. With both of them still selected, Shift A to add in a transition wipe. Now scrub over the wipe and you will see the result. <laughs> scrub over the wipe, that sounds funny. Next, go into the properties of the wipe and click in to change the direction. You can also adjust the angle at which it comes in and even give it a nice blur. There's also a drop down with several different transition types to choose from. This one is called double. Let's go ahead and change the color of the strip to match the image a bit better by using the eyedropper tool and choosing something from the image. There we go. You can also change the direction of the double and you get this. We've also got iris, which opens and closes in a circular fashion. Change direction, same thing. And then there's clock, wiping in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion. Okay, good. Now let's duplicate the color strip with Shift D and put it at the end. This time select the image strip first, then Shift select the color strip. Again, the order of the selection is important. Add in another wipe, and with it still selected, Shift select the first wipe, and now we can right click on each one of the properties and click copy to select it. Last, click the second wipe, change its direction, and now we have matching in and out wipes. But that's not all. If we select the color strips, we can move the color out of the camera view by adjusting the X or Y coordinates. And when we refresh, we can see that the image now wipes to transparency. Shout out to Rob Davis for this one, which means we can put anything we want under it. I'm just gonna copy the color strip at the end, place it underneath, and give it a different color. Make sure the wipe has a blend mode of alpha over, and ta-da! The transparency reveals whatever we put under it. Let's copy the Y location of the first color to the second one and copy the transparency from the first wipe to the second wipe. And to demonstrate just how versatile this really is, let's move the top row over just a bit and you can see that it is still truly transparent. So let's duplicate the color at the bottom and give it yet another different another color. Let's also change the first colors back to black for simplicity's sake, since now we can't see them anyway. Oh, and I forgot that the blend mode needs to be alpha over on these as well. Now, all we have to do is move the top row over any color or image or a video that we want, and it will be revealed beneath. And thus concludes the demonstration of the power of the wipe.